I am on the uh, the Istanbul Metro, uh, Metro number M8, uh, on our way from Met, uh, from Istanbul to the Istanbul Airport. Uh, there are 13 stops. Uh, it's 15 kilometers. We the train travels at around 120 kilometers an hour, and we are having a full web meeting without any issues. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm you know I'm I'm, I'm Happy to be joined with uh, from, from Air Radio with Esa and Asla, and we are speaking with Marnus Kruger, who is in uh, uh, Johannesburg, South Africa, and with Marcin Kruger, uh, who is in in uh, Kazakhstan, in Astana. Yeah, yeah? In, you in 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 Almaty today, and uh, Almaty. to make it harder, I'm walking around the mining exhibition. We have uh, the rate razor installed. On on the trains and on the infra and on the uh, tunnel infrastructure, all the way to the uh, uh, from the first station to the Istanbul Airport station. Yeah, yeah. really impressive. I mean, uh, just looking at the at the footage that I'm receiving from my end, uh, yeah. not a single glitch. Uh, it's not you yeah. know pixelated or anything. Um, yeah. It's been smooth since since yeah. the start of the call. So wow, yeah. Yeah. really impressive. Smooth. Yeah, and you see through the window behind me, you see it's, how fast we're moving. That's impressive. Uh, the Istanbul Metro Authority, they're very, very, very happy with everything. It's performing better than expected. Um, it, 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 well, they, performing, they, they, they first wanted to have a limit of data for, the, uh, for each passenger who logged on of 2 megabits per second. But they're considering raising it to five megabits per second because it's performing so well. So, so we've got Regent nodes. Um, which ones? On trains yeah. and, uh, and infrastructure, it's made with uh, with Cox, and additionally there is new Slipstream XG. So it was yep. designed for the oh, metro yes. project. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yep. Average bandwidth is around uh, 250 megabits per second. We can see you very small. And again, we've now stopped at our third station. And still, no no drops between stations. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. How many people is in the train? Uh, right now, right now on this train, I, I, I can show you. You can see one car. Yep. Can, you, can you see that? And then down to the end of our car. So definitely, there's definitely, I don't know, on this car, probably 60 people. Yeah. And the SSID, so that's, um, so it's public, so it's open. You basically just jump on the train, log into the SSID, and you've got internet. Correct. Correct. Yeah. You create okay. an account. You create an account. Uh, with the metro, and then you can log in. Yeah, it's underground the whole way, so it doesn't it doesn't you know, come out, and then you know it's it's on surface. It, it remains underground uh, the whole stretch. Open air is only the the people are here. And again, on multiple trains, multiple trains running, multiple cars on each train. Um, so there's four cars per train. And, and, and then they're also running multiple trains, obviously following each other at, at given intervals. I mean, the application, you know, connecting passengers and commuters on a on a train in a tunnel system, really complex environment to install. Um, well, well done. And I'll tell you, the team here, the Air Radio team, was uh, superb. Um, just the feedback I've gotten from. Uh, from from the metro customers uh, yesterday, just you know, just very very happy with, with their service, their support, and the execution of the project. They did a wonderful job. We are not limited only to our network, and we can make connect connection with any any device, any 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 uh, solution, any uh, application in the world using the internet. Today we have today we have internet in the metro, but using the Starlink or any other technology is possible as well. Exactly, and, and what you're saying is is the hybrid networks able to use a Starlink connecting it to, with the region network to augment it, or LTE and the augment with the region network. You know, we can, we can provide those services. What we're also demonstrating is is the uh, just the essence of region having the high reliability ability, high bandwidth, uh, no single point of failure, uh, really the consistency, and our, our business customers can take this and then use that to offer to consumer customers. That's what's happening here. Yes. This is an opportunity yes. and the reliability that is required for them to, to offer a service uh, based on Rage and Product. 